Hi, my name is Brian Smith, and in this video I'm going to show how to install a rel for edge image on a system. In part one of this video series, I built the rel for edge image using the Image Builder and prepared a container to serve the image over HTTP, so please watch that first video if you haven't already. I'm on a system that I'd like to install my rel for edge image on, and I've booted it from the rel 8.3 boot ISO image. I'll press the up arrow to go to the Install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.3 option, and then I'll press the tab key to edit the boot configuration. Remember in the first video our container was set up to serve the kickstart file and the rel for edge image over port 8000. To use that kickstart file I'll specify the inst.ks option and specify that the kickstart file is located at 192.168.122.106 on port 8000 and that the file name is rel for edgeks at this point, the system will connect to our container image that we set up in the first video, download that kickstart file that we specified, and initiate an automated installation of the rel for edge image that we set up in the first video. At this point, I'll skip the video ahead and come back once the installation has completed. Okay, the installation completed successfully, and that took about 2 minutes and 15 seconds on my system for it to install. In the first video, we specified that two accounts should be created. The test underscore ks was specified in the kickstart file, and the test underscore IB was specified in the image builder blueprint. I'll go ahead and log in with the test underscore KS account and run IPA to get the IP address of the system. Rather than using the system console, I'm going to go ahead and connect to our rel for edge system over SSH. I'll start by running RPM OS tree status, which will show that we currently have a single deployment with the rel slash 8 slash x8664 slash edge ref and a commit starting with the CBF8AC14 hash. If you remember back to the first video, this hash is the same hash we saw specified as the OS tree commit in the compose.json file that was extracted from the image commit tar file from the image builder. This is also the hash that we'll use as the parent commit in a future video where I'll create an update for this image. In the first video, when the image was built, I specified I'd like to have the corn shell and the tmux packages included in the image. I can run an RPM OS tree DB list and specify the commit hash and grep for KSH and tmux to validate that those packages were installed. I can also run a witch on KSH and tmux to validate that the executables are present. In this video, I covered how to install a rel for edge image on a system. In the next video, I'll create another rel for edge image that is an update to this image and then we'll update this system to the newer image. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.